I'd like to ask you what you think about the placebo effect. It's something that everybody knows about. It's commonly acknowledged as a phenomenon. People can essentially heal themselves if they believe that they're getting the medicine that they need. And in in modern medicine, I feel that it's kind of written off almost as an, an inconvenience, isn't it? Like it gets in the way of medical trials and we want to rule out the placebo effect, but it's not, it's never... Uh, to my knowledge, been properly studied or leveraged as a, a legitimate healing technique, even though clearly there's some power there. What do you think about that and the way that modern medicine has kind of pushed it aside and disregarded it? I think it's a terrible shame because I think it's probably one of the most powerful aspects of interacting with someone. Uh, you know, when someone comes in to see me, it's just holding space for them and really seeing them is probably the majority of the healing interaction right there. Um, you know, just, just recognizing them, hearing what they have to say, kind of me kind of shedding light, whether I'm vocally, you know, vocalizing that or just doing it just in my own mind, you know, kind of shedding light on the, their situation and, and, you know, kind of like, almost like, intuition to intuition or kind of sub super conscious to super conscious, you know, communicating with them and letting them know that they can take care of this by, by taking a look at it and understanding that there is an energetic underpinning. I think like that, there's a lot of communicating that's happening, you know, just, just from like a super conscious level with somebody that's probably, I don't want to put a percentage on it, but you know, 80%, 90% of the healing interaction. The other thing is when I'm with somebody, I find love for them, you know, in a very big way. Like it's like, no matter, you know, I, I find love and compassion for them. And that, that kind of holding them in a heart vibration just seems to have a healing effect. Like, how do you measure that? So then, then, you know, maybe I'm recommending some supplements or something, you know, or so, some physical substances that they're taking. But who's to say that that's what's really doing the healing? You know, I don't, I think it's a very small part of the healing process. And so if we really recognized the power of, a per and then one of the other things I'm doing when I'm speaking with someone is like kind of really letting them know it's possible to heal from this. You know, we could, we can, this is absolutely possible to unwind this. You, you, you know, I see this happening for you. And, and so then they, I kind of entrain them with the belief that this is possible. Like you're absolutely not going to heal unless you believe that it's possible to heal. So you're coming to me. I've been doing this for 25 years. I have a huge track record of helping people. And so I'm coming from a very confident place. And probably, I, I think without training in it formally, I do a lot of neuro-linguistic programming when I'm meeting with someone of just like iterating and reiterating, and reiterating several times throughout the, the experience with somebody, like this can turn around, like you can do this, this is possible to heal. I'm so excited for you. We're going to see some great changes here. This is going to be really cool when we get back together and we look at your labs next time, or, you know, we get to hear how you're feeling because you're going to see a huge change. It's going to be very different for you. You're going to feel so much better. Like I say that like throughout the entire appointment. And so they leave so much hope, but like this newfound belief, like because it's true. It's not like I'm lying, you know, <laughs> it's true. And so they, they, they feel that and they feel the conviction in me that that's true. And so I think that's probably, probably the most important thing right there.